What's going on guys? This is Sergeant Merrill here and uh, we have a lot to talk about. Me and you. We're going to have a, a nice little discussion together. I feel like I do that every time. <laughs> you know, like we're, we're going to have a nice little discussion. We're going to talk about a lot of stuff. <laughs> uh, first off, you guys are hitting me up like crazy, okay? Um, I get about 50 to 75 messages a day now. And as much as it kills me, I don't have the time to get back to everybody anymore. It's just like the uh, the supply has, uh, or the demand has outgrown the supply. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just don't have the time anymore, guys. And, uh, you know, and that kills me because I really do like getting to know you guys. I like sending you guys messages. You know, I really dig coming to the computer uh, every morning and doing about an hour of just answering messages and talking about life, giving out advice. I dig that. And I still do that. However, I'm not going to be able to get back to everybody. So if you send me a message and you don't hear something back, I don't want you to be heartbroken. But I also don't want you to be discouraged for two reasons. Uh, one, like I said, I'm still spending a lot of time getting back to you guys. So you just might hear back from me. And, uh, and two, I think that when you write out your problems, uh, you're going to notice that they become a lot easier to solve. Especially on your own. Um, so I highly recommend... Uh, sending me a message and just detailing out your problem and sometimes that's going to help you on your own you know you're going to you're going to look at the look at the problem on the screen and uh you're going to be like wow this this problem is a lot more simple than i thought you know and uh it's always a big help so either way it's going to help send me a message if you're having a life problem or want some advice from somebody who's been around and i think it's going to help you out either way um on another note, I wanted to talk about this uh, this donation effort that I had on my channel, what was it, on Sunday. And it was a humongous success, guys. It was, um, it was a lot of fun, and I'm just so proud to be a part of it. And what it was is uh, I came up with the idea that, you know, I donate to the Wounded Warriors Project on a, on a regular basis. So I wanted to do something a little bit different, and what it was is I'm... I was going to uh, play with subs, and for every game that we won in Black Ops, I would donate $5 to the Wounded Warrior Project. And uh, it turned out that, you know, we won about 10 games in the course of two hours, and I donated my $50, but what really surprised me is a lot of people came out of nowhere and was like, hey, I'd like to match your donation. So but by the time it was all over, guys, we ended up donating like $250 to the Wounded Warriors Project. And to me, that was amazing. It was just uh, it was proof that so much can come out of this community. So much good can come out of this community. And um, it can do a lot more than uh, put some expensive car in a kid's driveway. You know, uh, we can do great things. And I think that was proof. So expect a lot more events like that. Um, it was a lot of fun. And a lot of big YouTubers are, are going to get behind it. I know Onslaught said that he wanted to get behind the next one. And it matches my donation as well. So this is a fun thing that does great things. Expect it in the future. Wanted to talk about that for a second. Okay. Now on to the, the real topic of this video. And um, I, think, uh, I think a lot of people aren't going to agree with me. And that's fine because a lot of people are naive. And, uh, and that's fine. But this, this is going to address a lot of people that have been emailing me about girl problems. And I think this is going to help you out. Um, girls are going to fucking hate this, but it's just, it's just the way it is. Okay. So something that really helped me when I was growing up was something called the ladder theory. Okay. And if you don't know about it, type it into Google, read this theory. It is not the be all end all of how things are. Okay. There are always exceptions, but you don't want to live life expecting exceptions. You want to live by the rules, things that you can count on. And the latter theory, for the most part, is sadly true, especially when it comes to younger people. And it all comes down to the basic concept that a man and a woman cannot be friends. Not in the true sense of the word. A man cannot be friends with a woman he finds attractive. There is a natural progression to relationships, and best friendship isn't the end of it when it comes to a man and a woman. It's sex, and it's going to be... A intimate relationship that is just the way it works okay so the latter theory is going to help you understand uh, what is happening <laughs> because what it does is it it breaks it down 
into uh, into how how men think about women and how women think about men and where they place them in their mind. Okay, and so to dive a little bit deeper into this theory, and people are gonna get pissed off. I know my comment section is gonna be filled with exceptions. Oh, I'm best friends with Susie. I'm not attracted to her. You kind of are. Okay, there's just a reason you're not having sex with her. <laughs> Before we dive deeper into the ladder theory, let me go ahead and paint this picture, okay? You're sitting on the couch with said best friend who was, you know, who was a girl, and uh, she says, "Excuse me, Johnny, I'm, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be right back." And you say, "Okay," you know, sitting there watching a movie, nice and comfortable on the couch, and she comes back in uh, in a whipped cream bikini, you know, completely naked, whipped cream bikini, and she says, "Johnny, take me now." Now, are you gonna say, "A"? Uh, Hell yes, let's do this. <laughs> this is what I've been waiting for. <laughs> or B, are you going to say that you value your friendship too much to do it? So I know some people are going to say, so a man can only be friends with the woman that he finds unattractive. And the answer to that is no. <laughs> you still pretty much want to bang them too, just not as bad as the ones that you do find attractive. That is just the, the sad and ugly truth, and the sooner you realize that, the sooner you're going to stop yourself uh, from torturing yourself uh, about being friends with women, okay? It just doesn't work the way that you think it does, okay? I'm not saying that you can't have um, a good relationship with a woman that you're not having sex with. I'm just saying you need to realize in your mind that you're never going to be best friends with her, okay? You're never going to go to the bar with her and go drinking with her and you know talk about life and it not end up in an intimate way okay it's just the natural progression of things so let's dig a little deeper into this ladder theory and let's see how men and women place things in their mind first men have one ladder as we've already discussed which is women that he would like to have sex with or m women that he would not like to have sex with either way it's a sex ladder okay and you when you first meet a woman you you put her on that ladder okay Obviously, women that you really want to have sex with are at the top of the ladder, ladder, and women that you would have sex with when you're very, very drunk would be at the bottom of the ladder. Women are completely different. Women have two ladders, okay? They have the friend ladder, and then they have the sex ladder. The problem is, they don't tell you which ladder you're on. So you can think you're at the very top of the sex ladder, and then when you go to make your move, you find out you're not. And since men only have one ladder, you never want to be on the friend's ladder. At least I want to say 90% of the time, you never want to be on a woman's friend's ladder. Unless it's a conditional friendship in which you don't mind. Like in my case, I'm married, okay, and um, my brother-in-law has a wife. That is a conditional friendship. I'm conditionally friends with his wife, and I don't mind being on her friend's ladder. So that's no problem for me. But if I was a single guy and I met a girl... Under no circumstance would I want to be on her friend's ladder unless I just really wasn't interested in having sex with her because I only have one ladder. I, I don't need woman friends. I don't need friends that at some point or another I might want to have sex with and torture myself, okay? And neither do you. So you need to be extremely careful that when you first meet a girl, your intention is clear. Not that you want to have sex with her and that you're a pig, okay? But that you want something intimate because if you don't, if you're not careful, you're going to end up on that friend's ladder and not even fucking know it. And then you're going to go and make your move. And you're going to try and jump from the friend's ladder to the sex ladder. And if you're not high enough on the friend's ladder, that could be a problem. All right? And then you fall down off both ladders and you have this moment of awkwardness. And then Susie goes and bangs an outlaw biker. <laughs> and you're just left wondering why. Read this theory, guys. Get on, uh, get on Google. Check it out. It's a very crude and uh, sometimes... Um, harsh way of looking at the relationships between men and women. I think it might help a lot of you younger people out. Um, good talk. But again, let's do this. Uh, let's do this donation thing again in the near future. And um, and again, if you have problems, go ahead and send me a message. This is Sar Merrill out here.